What's going on guys, Corey from Yoda Expedition here. And in this video, we're gonna be putting some new wheels and tires on our 4Runner. We currently have some 265.70 mud terrains on there from Yokohama. We're gonna be putting some 285.70 uh, Mickey Thompson's on there with some 1552 wheels. So I'm gonna get this thing up on the lift, get these old wheels and tires off, and let's see if these things fit. We have a stage one Icon lift kit on here right now. So let's get into it. All right, so we got the new wheels and tires put on the 4Runner. Now we can go ahead, let it down, and see if we have any clearance issues. I'm not worried about the rear. It's the front I'm worried about, and as far as turning and hitting either the bumper or the mud flap or the body mount in the front, we might have to make some modifications to that. So we'll find out. We got some rubbage. Well, as you saw and could hear, we had some rubbing on the front bumper. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim some of this back so we don't have any issues. And then it's also rubbing a bit on the mud flap. So that those might have to come off as well. Now, every tire is gonna be different um, depending on the brand, depending if you get a mud terrain or an all terrain. If this was an all-terrain tire, we probably wouldn't have any issues, but with the big uh, lugs on this, we are having rubbing issues. These wheels are a 17 by eight and a half with a zero offset, and that's gonna make a big difference too. If you went with a 17, nine, negative 12, which is a really popular size, we'd probably have even more of a rubbing issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, marked out where I wanna trim it and get cutting. Also, if we had the spanner wrench for these Icon coilovers, I could probably give them a few turns and jack the front up and that might help us as well with clearance issues, which I want to do anyway because the front is sitting a little bit lower than the rear. So as soon as that wrench comes in, I'm going to do that as well and uh, that, that'll just help us overall. So 
So realistically, we're only rubbing on this lip right here. So you can trim this back and you should be good for some daily driving. But as soon as you get into off-roading, you're probably gonna have to trim more, which we're gonna be doing a Viper cut video in the future. So I'm gonna go ahead first and cut this off just to give us enough clearance to turn with these. And then if you guys are interested in watching the Viper cut video, we're gonna be cutting that next. All right, so we got the new wheels and tires on there. We made some adjustments to the front bumper, at least so that we can just drive this thing as a normal vehicle and we should have no rubbing issues. Now, like I said, it's gonna vary depending on tire, whether you go with a mud terrain or an all terrain, and the brand is going to change the way that the tires fit as well. But next up, we're gonna be doing a Viper cut, so we're gonna be cutting a very aggressive angle on the front bumper, and that's gonna give us plenty of clearance for when we go into an off-road situation and we have this thing turning and flexing at the same time. So if you guys are interested in these same tires or these wheels, they're both available on yodaexpedition.com. I'll put the link down in the description for both of those. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.